Before I start streaming, what I've done when I got back today is I've downloaded the Bloodborne, um, Bloodborne trailers, which I've not actually seen. So my plan is to watch the Bloodborne trailers and then we can actually crack a doodle on with the game itself. So. <laughs> oh, it's finally the time to do it, Martinez. You're damn right. So uh, I digress. Let's crack a doodle on. Um, just bear with me because I've had to download a media player. For some reason, the PlayStation 4 um, doesn't come installed with a facility to play media. <laughs> so I've had to download it. <laughs> Yeah, so I've downloaded, as far as I'm aware, all of the trailers for Bloodborne, uh, excluding the gameplay trailers. And I've ordered them in the order they came out. Really? Do the trailer have spoilers in? Surely not. I mean, how many is there? Six altogether. You can see the dates right next to them. I'm still going to watch them all regardless, because I will eventually get to, I guess, the, the spoilers, if you will. So, hold on a second. There we go. I don't know why that didn't start from the start then. I started watching it. I got it for £16 second hand, Chris, from AV Forums in mint condition. The guy played it twice. Not his kind of game, apparently. Yeah, it's the Game of the Year version with all of the DLC, yeah. <laughs> harsh favourite, harsh. It's not everyone's cup of tea, you know, not everyone likes the Souls games. look so bloody. Yeah, it's not everyone's cup of tea, Chris. Personally, I don't mind. You either like the games or you don't. It doesn't bother me. God, I love the architecture and the setting already. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. It's something I've got to look forward to. <laughs> Nice, I'm only two years too late. Hey, what's up, Dally? Yeah, I finally managed to get a copy. Speaking of Nino Cooney, when I got in today, uh, I've taken a picture of it. It's going to be going up for sale. So if any of you guys want the legendary Nino Cooney on the PS3, I'm more than happy to, you know, sell it and sign it as well. My favorite game. <laughs> anyway, Bloodborne, Gamescom trailer. This is for the players. Oh, fucking ass for players, isn't it? I'm really liking these trailers, though. 
Why is it stopped? Hold on a second, what's happened here? There we go. I think it's because I put my controller down and the R2 and L2 do something. I've not seen him. Elia. Dear friend, take heed. The blood is. God, look at the detail. Is this in game graphics? And when night falls, the hunters return. Yeah, but I've still not seen him. What the fuck? You know what? Shall I just get straight into the game? I'm not really sure what's happening with this thing. Um, it's a USB stick. I formatted it to FAT32, but as per usual with my fucking insane look, it doesn't work. <laughs> Good God, man. What a piece of shit. Ah, oh, fuck it. Right, let's crack a dude along with Bloodborne. Let's crack a doodle on, boys. Just a quick question before I start. Is this like a normal thing now with the PS4 where you put a game disc in and it installs the game, I think? Because I've had The Witcher 3 and Bloodborne, I have both of these on discs, and I think Bloodborne is taking up like 35 gigs or something, and I've not installed anything apart from a patch. So, I have no idea what's going on. The technology is just too much for me. Wait, you've got to install ever again to increase loading times? Did you mean to write decrease, Chris? Take it easy, Grandpa. <laughs> right, just bear in mind again that this this thing's brand new to me, so I have no idea about the PS4. Um, play offline for the first, for the first session at least. And I guess new game. Let's do it. Let's turn this up a little bit. I think I usually have it on seven or eight. Fingers crossed it's not going to be too bright or too dark. Let me know if it is, though. I actually don't have PS Plus, though, Elia. I've not activated it yet. I've not activated my 14-day trial. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Okay, nice. Male. I'll probably say I'm mature. I'm the ripe old age of 29, so I, I guess I am. <laughs> Origin, let's have a look. Ordinary, happy upbringing. Attributes. Oh, right, so this is basically your class. Okay, so what do we have? Level, blood echoes, vitality, endurance, strength, skill, blood tinge, and arcane. Okay. Okay. 
Suffered misfortune in youth, oh god. See, I'd really like to know what arcane, blood tinge, and skill is. I'm assuming skill is self-explanatory. Um, and on the previous Souls games, you used to be able to press, I think it was at least on the PlayStation Select. But because this is the PS4, and I have no idea what I'm doing, I guess maybe you can't do it on here? Um, I'm assuming I'm going to need high vitality, endurance, and strength. Arcane is obviously going to be magic, which I don't plan on using, at least not yet. Christ, waste of skin. You are nothing. Talentless. I think that might actually sum this playthrough up. Right, let me just have a look. 14, 11, 10... Lone Survivor looks pretty good. Ooh, Violent Past looks even better. And I'm actually feeling pretty violent today. I shaved my head before um, I went out last night, so... Feeling a bit romper-stomper. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Violent Past. I'm worried about that blood tinge, though. I guess I'll find out when I get into the game. Uh, okay, appearance. Okay, I'll just leave him as it is. I'll leave him as it is. I just want to crack on. Let's do it. Yeah, just... Um, please, no spoilerinos, guys. I have faith in this chat. For the most part, you're all pretty damn good. Arcane isn't just for magic shit. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. I'll just Whatever roll with happens, it, see how it goes. You may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> Sport and a semi Martinez. Jesus Christ. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. Iasefka's clinic. God, I love the look of this game already. Fuck. When it comes to the Souls games, I'm a huge fan of areas like um, kind of Anor Londo and things like that. Really, really digging this arch architecture. Fuck. <laughs> Look at the power of this PS4. Them graphics. Damn.
God, it's a beautiful looking game. Holy shit. I just wished my memory stick worked with the trailers. I'm going to see if I can maybe get it sorted for tomorrow. Okay. Attack. Nice. Oh, do I have a weapon? Bear with me once. All oh, right, options. Okay. Sacrifice all blood echoes and awaken a new. Okay. Soul sign, basically. Dangling upside down rune etched in one's mind. Symbol of a hunter. By focusing one's thoughts on this rune, a hunter loses all blood echoes, but awakens afresh, as if it were all just a bad dream. You know what? I think now might be a good time to find out what Arcane Blood Tinge and Skill is. Right, okay, here we go. Attribute governing powers of Arcane Attack determines whether or not you can use certain equipment. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm assuming I'm going to need this if I want to use magic imbued weapons, potentially. Attribute governing powers of weapons that use QS bullets determines whether or not you can use certain equipment. Nuance physical weapon attack. Right, so all of these have basically to do with certain equipment. Strength is self explanatory. Wow, compared to Dark Souls, especially I think Dark Souls 2, you get very few skills, at least on this part, on your stats page. Okay. God, man, this game looks fucking amazing. <laughs> um, is is this, I guess, the tutorial boss? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you can stun lock into four. Ooh. God, I'll kill for a weapon right about now. I'll fucking kill for a weapon. Ooh! Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ, man! This is fucking... The, this is harder than the Souls game combined. Really? Is, <laughs> is that the tutorial boss? Fuck me. Hands are sweating, by the way, like fuck. Ah, skill is dexterity. I see. Beautiful game. Awaken at a select location in Yarnum. Okay, before I go there, let me just see what else we've got here. An abandoned doll. A 
Accept gift from messengers. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. And the start of this game feels totally different to the other Souls games. Saw Cleaver, Hunter Axe, and Threaded Cane. I think the attribute bonuses look exactly the same as the Souls games. So for this one, obviously, D is Strength. <clears throat> or, excuse me, the, the arm is Strength and then the hand is Dexterity. So this is more of a Strength weapon. 9 Strength and 8 Dex, I think. That's D E D E eight seven nine eight. I think I'm gonna go with the hunter axe. I have no idea how different these weapons are, but I'm quite comfortable when it comes to using uh, halberds and axes in the Souls games. So I guess we'll go with the hunter axe. I think this is where the blood tinge skill comes in. Blood attack 70, and then that one's only 20. Can I just say, with it being a first playthrough, I have no idea if either of these are any good or not. Um, I, I, I guess I'll go with a hunter pistol, because it has more blood attack than the other one. A notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share with the hunter. Okay. Beautiful looking game. Ritual route chalice is required to conduct a ritual. Man, this looks so sick. I know probably people have mentioned this already, but this reminds me of a game I used to play when I was a kid called Nightmare Creatures. On the PS1 at least, it's, I'm guessing, a Victorian setting from what I can gather so far. At least going by the architecture. I got how high am I? Where am I? <laughs> Jesus. Strong attack. Oh, hold R2 for a charge attack. A strong attack. Nice. Transform weapon right. I think it might be a good idea to equip something. Oh, have I got this equipped? And I've accidentally just used something by pressing up on the D-pad. Right, there we go. Now it's equipped. Right, okay, sweet. Oh, I'm liking this charged attack. Nice. Shooting your firearm will interrupt and stagger an enemy where properly timed. Nice. So I think I remember someone mentioning a while ago that with Bloodborne you don't get any shields. Um... 
again, I never ever use shields apart from the, I think, is it called the Grass Crest Shield on Dark Souls for the stamina regen? So, I'm assuming I'm going to be using the weapon here as a way to parry. God, man, this looks amazing. Holy shit. Can I two-hand this? It's kind of weird, because so far it feels familiar. But they've definitely changed a couple of things. I'm just so used to the Souls games that... Yeah. Okay, so L1 instead of triangle to two hand. Right. Okay, I guess we're going to be going back then. First floor sick room. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Smurf? <laughs> Apologies for uh, for not reading chat. I just want to kind of pay attention to this. My hands are sweating like fuck. <laughs> I don't know if it's nerves or what it is. <laughs> oh, I'm at a different location. I think, am I? Hold on a second. Is this the staircase I came down? Are you... out on the hunt? Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. I am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Sefka's blood vial. So I assume I woke up on the other side of this door and obviously she's got to be on the second level that I didn't have access to. Okay. Go. Why is she hiding? And good hunting. Are you still in need of something? But I have nothing more to offer. Please, try to understand my position. I can only pray for a fruitful hunt. So, I've tried, or at least I've downloaded all of the trailers for Bloodborne, and I did try and watch them before I started this, because I've not actually seen them. Um, the problem is, I think my USB stick might be a little bit fucked up because it disconnected. So, I assume that everyone in this town is... Have they turned into a werewolf? I mean, I guess I'll find out. I'll probably get into too far ahead of myself are you still in need of something but i have nothing more to offer please try okay. to understand my position Is she hiding i can only pray for a fruitful hunt yeah it's got to be the same staircase has to be i came down here this is the clinic I ran down here, I was gawping at the graphics and the god rays, and I'm sure the werewolf is... yeah. How did I miss her at the beginning? Oh, sweet guardian, I'm a huge fan of the Souls games. Do I still get a charge in R1 attack? Oh my... God, man, this axe! Fuck me! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hey, what's up, Mason? 
Again, guys, I'll try and keep on top of chat if I can, but please do bear with me. God, it feels so weird to be playing a new game. Well, I say new. Two years old, but, you know, new for me. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that, Smurf. I would like to figure everything out myself, if at all possible. If I need help, I will ask. It's by a device. God, man, it's a fucking beautiful looking game. Silver bullets. Now, I know that I've got a gun, or at least I've picked a gun up. I've got a question for you guys, this really shouldn't involve any spoilers at all. Is the system on Bloodborne the same as the Dark Souls games where you've got mid, heavy and light? So you know you've got 25, 50 and I think it was 70 or 75%? I can't even remember now from the original Dark Souls. So basically does your equipment weigh you down?